Hi, this is Trey Pass. Welcome to my review of Secret Society of Second Born Royals. This is a Disney Plus exclusive movie. Uh, it came out on Friday. I had actually had no intention of seeing, watching this movie. I had seen the, uh, the advertisement before, but I wasn't actually looking for it. I was actually flipping through Disney Plus looking for something else. When I actually uh, came across it, I said, let me just uh, see the trailer. I, I played the trailer. And I kind of liked it. And then I said, you know, let me start watching. And then I start watching. And then I couldn't stop <laughs> watching it. So I watched it all the way to the end. Uh, so this movie is basically about five uh, teenagers who are second born, hence the title. Uh, and, and the secret society part of this is that they, these five kids think they're going to uh, summer school. But what actually they're going to is actually a training group. And they're explained to them by their teacher, played by Skylar Austin. Uh, who plays Professor James Morrow, he explained to these five kids that, you know, you're the second born royal, so, but you actually have a, there's a, a, a secret society actually where you get trained because you have superpowers and you get trained to protect, you know, the royalty, you know, the monarchy and all that stuff. And of course, there's five kids. There's Sam, who's sort of the lead character in this, played by Peyton Elizabeth Lee, I saw her in Andy Mack. She was the lead character there. Then you have uh, Tuma, played by Niles Fitch. Yeah, Isabel, played Thomas, he plays January. You have Olivia Debo, she plays Princess Roxana, and then you have uh, Mateo, who play, played by, I'm not, I'm not even trying to pronounce his last name, it's Faley Rakatahalana, I think that's how you pronounce it, that's a mouthful. But anyway, these five kids are, you know, sort of like Breakfast Club meets X-Men, meets, uh, sort of like, you know, like Breakfast Club meets X-Men, you know, they have, these kids have different personalities and stuff, and as second born, you know, royals, they feel, you know, like they're slighted and stuff, but, you know, they get thrust into this world where they actually get training and, you know, they find out they have superpowers and they have to protect the monarchy, okay, and that's the story, and the story is about them, you know, their training, them coming together, you know, it's not that difficult to figure out the plot of this, and of course there's a secret mission they have to go on and stuff and, you know, save the world and all that stuff, but actually I found it uh, pretty uh, entertaining, I think the actors are pretty good, they have good chemistry amongst amongst them. And like I said, Peyton Elizabeth Lee, she plays Sam, and she's sort of the lead character in this movie. You know, she has kind of the most screen time out of all the kids, and she, you know, she can carry the movie, but, and she, her, her her story is kind of interwoven into the main plot, her, specifically her, and we get to know more of her backstory than the other kids, okay? But I first thought this was a TV show when I first saw the advertisement for it, but actually this is actually obviously a movie, and and the way it's set up, it's kind of set up to be like maybe a series of movies and stuff, which I can see happening. And I, like I said, I enjoyed it. It was not something that you can't figure out the plot. It's one of these stories that you can't figure out the plot. These different kids with different backgrounds have to come together, become friends, and bond together and, and you know, stop the secret bad guy. There's a twist in there somewhere that I, I didn't see coming. I know some, I've seen other reviews and people said they saw it coming, but I didn't see it. Uh, the twist coming that came, but I thought the actors all did a really good job, and I definitely would like to see a sequel. The only thing about this movie is, like I said, Sam had the primary focus in this movie, so which is I think this this, this uh, show would probably lend better premise to like being a, like a TV show, I think, because then the, the way you can flesh flesh out all of the characters, you know, give more of the, you know, the other four kids more of their backstory. I think you got the primary focus of this movie was basically Sam's character, you know, the Sam character, and you got to see things mostly through her eyes and stuff, because kind of plot kind of revolves around her without spoiling it, okay, but I thought all the kids did a good job with this, and I definitely would love to see a sequel to this, and like I said, to me, this would probably be, make better, like a, like a TV show, if they were to do that, but I think they're probably going to make these, a, like a series of movies and stuff like that, and then maybe in the other movies, you'll, you get more into the background of of these kids because all the kids are supposed to be like second sons of royal family and we only got to really see uh, Sam's family not the other four kids so I think you can explore those possibilities in the sequels uh, to this movie hopefully they'll make a sequel to it because I enjoyed it like I said the only like I said negative to me was you didn't get to know the other four kids their background and their individual you know you know backstories and their relationships to their older siblings because remember they're second born in their family so you know, they tell you about it, but you don't get to actually, you know, meet them and see those other characters. And I think they'll probably, they'll probably do that in sequels coming forward. So overall, like I said, I enjoyed it. The kids are good and engaging. Uh, you know, the superpowers to me were, were pretty cool. And I'm going to give, and I like Scholar Austin uh, as the teacher, Professor James Monroe. I thought he 
did a really good job. And you know who he reminds me of? I was, I was saying, who does he remind? He reminds me of somebody. Then I thought about it. He reminds me of Zachary Levi. He could be Zachary Levi's little brother. <laughs> That's exactly what he, he reminds me of. You know, Zachary Levi. They probably can play siblings in a movie or something. But anyway, I'm going to give uh, the Secret Society of Second Born Rose. I'm going to give it a. I'm going to give it a seven. Like I said, I think it could have been better if it was a mini series or something like that. So you could have had more time with the other secondary characters. But I thought what we got was pretty good. And I think the actors all together, those five actors have good chemistry amongst each other and stuff. And I thought it was pretty good. And I definitely would like to see a sequel, okay, to this. Okay, anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, All Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pass. I'm saying so long and take care.